Pass rolling to his right. They throw it. The in route to Tanner. Steck makes the catch. Steck dives for the pylon. Touchdown! Up by the Nuggets and an attack. That'll go for a kill from Anna Steer. Lamar looks for a block, makes a man miss at the five. In zone, touchdown, swirls. With Sets up middle, Jensen for the exclamation point kill. 30, the 20, the 15, the 10, and an 85-yard touchdown run for Landon Olsen. Alston Telephone Company and r and Broadcasting Incorporated is proud to present to you this broadcast on yourliveevent.com. Oglem Agency for PRF coverage. If you depend on rainfall in specific months to maximize haying and or grazing practices, then pasture, rangeland, forage. PRF is a great risk management choice for you. Sign up deadline is December 1st. Talk with John, Wayne, or Marissa. Experience matters. The Bennett Hoagland Agency has been working with PRF for over 15 years. The Bennett Hoagland Agency, Ada and Moorhead, 1-800-784-2106. The Bennett Hoagland Agency is an equal opportunity provider. And welcome back to Gate City Bank Field at the Fargo Dome. Joe Lancello with you as we get ready for the Section 8 AAA Championship game between the Morris Area Chicago Alberta Tigers and the Dilworth Glendon Felton Rebels. And our pregame show brought to you by Irie Insurance. Get the insurance protection you want with the customer service you deserve at Irie Insurance. They cover it all from home, auto, crop, commercial, and benefits insurance. Go to irieinsurance.com to get a free quote. Dilworth Glendon Felton comes into the game with an 8 and 1 record. They are ranked number 5 in the state in class AAA. And the Rebels had a first round playoff bye and won their opening game over East Grand Forks 21 to 7. And now they take on Morris Area Chicago Alberta, a team they defeated 42 to 7 back on September the 22nd and that was a home game at DGF. Morris Area Chicago Alberta comes in with a 7-3 record. Their playoff games, a 15-12 victory over Fergus Falls and then a 32-8 win against Purim last week. And one thing that Coach Kevin Pope says about his Tigers is that they have three fourth quarter comeback victories this season against Little Falls on the road at East Grand Forks in the regular season, or against East Grand Forks. I was right the first time. That was at East Grand Forks. 15-14, then against Fergus Falls in the opening round of the playoffs, which was a 15-12 victory for the Tigers. And we will be back with a look at the starting lineups after these messages on yourliveevent.com. Heritage House in Halstead provide great places for seniors to live. They emphasize choices, independence, and provide services as directed by residents. They're also great places to work, where employees find not only a job, but also rewarding and enjoyable experiences that contribute to the lives of others. To get more information on Halstead Living Center and Heritage House in Halstead, call 218-456-2105 or log on to halsteadlivingcenter.com. Treat yourself to a great career at American Crystal Sugar Company. Team up with quality people making quality products. Full-time and year-round in a stable business. With great pay and benefits, including time off available from day one, American Crystal Sugar Company invests in you to promote your continued growth and career advancement. Grow your career doing your best work within the world's best beet sugar company. Apply online today at AmericanCrystalCareers.com. Back at the Fargo Dome, Joe Lancello with you. Time now for our starting lineups. Brought to you by Ziegler Egg Equipment, Highway 9 North Ada. Now listen to this. 0.99% interest. Yes, less than 1% interest for five years on all new Gleaner Combines. Or choose 0% for 24 months. It's Cleaner with Gleaner. These Gleaner Combines are getting raving reviews from the demonstrations and from those who have purchased Gleaner Combines this summer. Check out the deal on Gleaner Combines at Ziegler Egg Equipment, Highway 9 North in Ada. Here's the way things will line up when Morris Area Chicago, Alberta has the ball. The Tigers 
will have as their quarterback number six, Drew Hebner, a junior, 6'4", 190. And last week against Purim, he completed 11 of 58 passes with one interception. He also ran 40 yards for one touchdown. Nope. I got, I got stuff backwards here. I'm sorry. Hebner was one for two for 40 yards and a touchdown. He also rushed 11 times for 58 yards and a touchdown and two extra points. Three men in the backfield. Mitchell Moser, a junior, will be one of the running backs along with number eight, Owen Anderson, who rushed for 242 yards on 32 carries against Purim last week and one touchdown. The wing back is number three, Andrew Marty, a junior. Wide receiver, number 10, Riley Asmus, a sophomore, 6'4", 180. The tight end is Jack Kehoe, 6'3", 185, a sophomore. The center, Brett Howell, number 67. The guards, 72, Zach Dietz, and 56, Bryce Lehman. The tackles, 50, John Kleindl, and 79, Javon Johnson. Kevin Pope, the coach of Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta. The Tigers, 7-3 on the year. And they'll face this dilworth Glendenfeld defense at the ends, Brody O'Keefe, number seven, a senior, and 58, Brody Musolf, a junior. The nose tackle is 67, Josh Dudgeon, a senior. And the defensive tackle, 59, Harley Dale, a senior. Three linebackers. Casey Macheski, number 22 in the middle. The outside linebackers, number four, Ethan Hellerud, and 33, Nick Wally. Four in the secondary at the corners, number eight, Brody Friend, number nine, Cade Swenson, and at the safeties, number 12, Bodie DeVries, and number 18, Caleb Johnson. Now when DGF has the ball, the Rebels will have number 18, Caleb Johnson, at quarterback. He's rushed for 170 yards and eight touchdowns this season, and he's also passed for five touchdowns. In the backfield, number 12, Bodie DeVries, a senior with 562 yards on the ground this year. Number eight, Brody Friend, a senior. And number 33, Nick Wally, a senior with 450 yards and two touchdowns rushing. The ends, Thomas Raider, number six, a junior. Tight end, number seven, Brody O'Keefe, a senior with 13 grabs on the year. The offensive line, number 70, Aiden Adeen. The guards, 58, Brody Musoff, and 54, Nolan Verdi. The tackles, 67, Josh Dudgeon, and 62, Bryce Steen. Tony Soderberg, the coach of Dilworth, Glendon Felton, the defending Section 8 AAA champions with a record of 8-1 and one this season. Now for Morris Airy, Chicago, Alberta on defense. A 4-4 set. Zach Dietz and John Kleindl are the ends. Jason Christians and Javon Johnson are the tackles. Inside linebackers, 56, Bryce Lehman, 25, Mitchell Moser. Outside linebackers, 8, Owen Anderson, and 7, Derek Waldbesser. Three in the secondary, 21, Alex Spear, and 10, Riley Asmus at the corners. And the free safety is number three, Andrew Marty. I did not get a look at the coin toss. And it's going to be Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta to kick off. Back to receive for the Dilworth Glendon Felton Rebels. For the Rebels need to be Brody Friend and Kate Swenson. Bodie Friend number eight and Cade Swenson number nine. And set to kick the Tigers, Riley Sato. A freshman, Riley Sato, number 80, will kick off. Chicago, Alberta in the White shirts with orange plant, pants, black helmets. No logo on the left side, a logo on the right side of the helmet. Dilworth Glendon Felton in basic black with white and gold. And this Section A Triple A Championship game underway. Squibb field of the 21-yard line. 
and Swenson across the 35. Swenson with a good return and good field position for the Rebels as they start at their own 35-yard line. The Rebels, a basic, pretty simple format. They're going to run the ball. Much like Barnesville. Wishbone-like formation with Caleb Johnson under center. A straight ahead give doesn't get very much for Brody Friend. They'll give him a yard to the 36, second down nine. Double tight end set. And a short gain there for Casey Macheski. And he picked up just one yard, so that'll be third down and eight. As the Tiger defense looking rather stiff early on. And a give on a counter for Friend. He'll get to the 40-yard line, but that'll be short of the first down. So three and out for Dilworth Glendon Felton on their first possession. Junior Hayden Hoff will come in to punt. And back to receive for the Tigers. Andrew Marty, number three, and I not able to catch the other fellow. They're back at their own 25-yard line. Hoff. Kick fielded at the 30. And a gain of about five. Grayson Gibson on the return. Tackle made by Cody DeVries. It'll be first and ten for the Tigers. Ball spotted at their 30. 30 yards on the punt. Five on the return. So Morris area, Chicago, Alberta will start at their own 39-yard line. Make that nine on the return. 9.58 to go in a scoreless first quarter. And someone on the right side of the Morris area, Chicago, Alberta offensive line was a little early in moving. So the Tigers will be first and 15 from their own 34. Asmus wide right, receiver wide left. Inside give for Owen Anderson, number eight. He picks up a couple, or three make that to the 37 yard line, second down and a dozen. Receivers wide to both sides out of the eye. And that handoff over right guard didn't get much. Mitchell Moser, 25 on the carry. That's a gain of two to the 39. So it's third and 10 now for Morris area, Chicago, Alberta. You might remember Chicago, Alberta as a team that did very well in the early years of the Prep Bowl in the nine-man competition. Two wide to either side. Heepner out of the pistol. Will throw and intercepted. Caleb Johnson with the interception. The first turnover of the game. Out to the 
So three and punt and then three and turnover on the first two possessions of the game. And DGF will start at the Tiger 42-yard line with 8.48 to go in a scoreless first quarter. Once again, the full house backfield, double tight end set. Caleb Johnson, who just had the interception, the quarterback, and a give straight up the gut to about the 33-yard line. Macheski on the carry. Gain of eight to the 34. Macheski, 5'11", 195, a junior. Now a double wing formation with the double tight ends. Macheski, the lone setback. Caleb Johnson steps away from the pressure and his pass is overthrown. He was looking for number seven, Brody O'Keefe. Coverage there by number three, Andrew Marty. Setting up third and two for DGF at the Morris area, Chicago, Alberta, 34-yard line. Full house backfield again. Johnson with a give for number 33, Nick Wally. And, up to Nicholas Wally. and he's close to a first down. And that's going to be enough to move the stakes. And that will, in fact, be a first down at the 32 yard line. Dilworth Glendenfeld trying to take advantage of the interception. Trying to force his way forward is Nick Wally. He'll gain about five. Second and five from the 27. Section 8 AAA championship game from the Fargo Dome. Joe Lancello with you on yourlavavent.com. Second and five Rebels. Macheski again. Got close to the first down marker, but was pushed back. We'll see where they mark his progress. Gain of four to the 23, our line will be third and one. Caleb Johnson under center, full house backfield. Wally again, and this time he stopped. Owen Anderson, the linebacker with a tackle. And a loss of one on the play. The 24 sets up fourth and two. In a place where the Rebels have got to go for it, and they will. Tigers were showing blitz. Play clock at nine. And timeout. Dilworth, Glendon, Felton take their first timeout of the half. 5.46 to go in the first quarter on the Lakes Community Co-op scoreboard. No score between Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta, and Dilworth, Glendon, Felton. Back after this on yourliveevent.com. Family Dentistry, just off Highway 10 in Dilworth. Our purpose is to meet and exceed your expectations, providing the most personalized care possible in a relaxing environment. 
providing exceptional dental care using the latest technology and advancements in dentistry. Currently welcoming new patients. Stop in and see Dr. Adeen or Dr. Muscatel and their friendly staff at Adeen Family Dentistry. AdeenFamilyDentistry.com. 218-287-2938. Fourth and two for Dilworth Glendon Felton at the Morris Area Chicago, Alberta, 24 yard line. And the quarterback Johnson will keep it. He'll bump. No, that's a gift for. That is Johnson. He'll score. Touchdown, Rebels. Touchdown, Rebels. On a Caleb Johnson keeper. I thought I saw a 2-2 there, but it was 18. Caleb Johnson, his ninth rushing touchdown of the year. And it was a Johnson interception that gave the Rebels possession. And he gets a touchdown. Hayden Hoff on to kick the extra point with Brennan Junk to hold. Kick is up and away, and it's good. With 5.39 to go in the first quarter on the Lakes Community Co-op scoreboard, Dilworth, Glendon, Felton, 7, Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta, nothing. The kickoff after this on yourliveevent.com. I'd like to wish the best of luck to the Monoman, Wab and Thunderbird teams and wish them the best of luck this season. Proud to cheer on and support the Thunderbird students in the classroom and in all extracurricular activities. Your hard work and dedication make them proud to work with you every day as part of the Wab and Ogemaw White Earth School District. Good luck and go Thunderbirds from all the members of the Wab and Education Association. Seven play 42 yard drive for Dilworth Glendon Felton that took 309 off the clock. Caleb Johnson a big fourth down conversion. That he took in for a 24-yard touchdown after he had given the Rebels possession with an interception. And 13 Hayden Hoff to kick off for Dilworth Glendon Felton. Drew Hebner fields on the 10. Or check that, the ball fumbled, and I think the Rebels have it. They do have it. Fumble recovered by number four, Ethan Hellrude. So two quick takeaways in the opening quarter for Dilworth, Glendon Felton. And the Rebels in business at the Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta, 28-yard line. Ball on the far hash. Double tight end set. Tigers showed blitz. And Brody Friend is close to a first down. They'll mark it just across the 15 yard line. Or excuse me, the 19 yard line. Second and a yard. A toss for Nick Wally. Forced outside, was able to lunge forward near the sticks. Did he get it? No gain on that play. Third and one from the 19. 4.51 to go in the opening quarter. Rebels looking to add to a 6 nothing lead. And 
And a give to the first man, Machuski, and I think he got enough for the first down. He got hit right away by linebacker Bryce Lehman, but he gained the yard he needed for the first down. Third first down of the game for Dilworth Glendon Felton. Four and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Johnson will keep it himself and carry to about the 10. Caleb Johnson on the keeper. He's going to pick up seven. Tackle made by Riley. Nice job on the option. Second down is three. As Caleb Johnson gains seven to the 11-yard line. Johnson with the game's only touchdown. Under four minutes to go first quarter. Rebels on an eight-game winning streak. Their only loss this year was to Barnesville, the Section 8 AA champions. For the second straight year, they won that game earlier today. And an inside handoff, not much doing for Bodie DeVries, number 12. Gain of a yard, it'll be third and two for the Rebels. Rumbles have not gone to the air yet in this first quarter, which has about three minutes to go. Third and two. Tigers showing blitz. Brody Friend on the carry. And a penalty flag thrown. Thrown in the defensive backfield. In the offensive backfield, it means holding. On the offense, usually. Uh huh. So a four yard gain to the six, then a three yard penalty for a face mask. Wally, oh, hit from linebacker Mitchell Moser. Second and goal from the three. Caleb Johnson to the line. Tigers were starting to show blitz. I wonder if they got somebody on the Rebel side to flinch. Illegal procedure on DGF. Moves the ball back to the eight-yard line. Still second and goal. From the eight. Tigers again showing blitz. Caleb Johnson rolls right, throws, passes, caught. At the five yard line, and Brody Friend will get to about the four. Third and goal. And the first pass play of the evening by Dilworth Glendon Felton. Picks up four, it's third and goal. And an official timeout as number seven linebacker Derek Waldbeezer from. Morris area, Chicago, Alberta. Looks a little shaken up. Walking off under his own power.
being checked on by Coach Kevin Pope and also one of the athletic trainers. Walt Beezer, a senior, 5'11", 170 pounds. Third and goal for Dilworth Glendon Felton with a minute 25 to go in the first, looking to add to a 7 0 lead. Johnson will keep and be hauled down after a gain of a yard. Good work by linebacker Owen Anderson. No gain, fourth and goal from the four. And go for it, they will. And Friend will score! Brody Friend Makes it 13-0 in favor of DGF. So the Rebels have forced two turnovers and cashed in on both. Drive took just under five minutes. Hayden Hoff on to kick, Brennan Yonk to hold. Excuse me, junk. J-O-H-N-K. And the Hoff kick is good. The Hoff kick by the Brennan John Holt is good. And on the Lakes Community Co-op scoreboard, 37 seconds to go in the first quarter. It's still worth Glendon Felton 14, Morris area, Chicago, Alberta, nothing. The kickoff after this on yourliveevent.com. Morup is locally owned and operated and ready to serve the area farmer. They offer these products for the upcoming season. Seed, chemicals, dry and liquid fertilizer and application services. When we're talking seed from Performance Ag, they'll provide growers with corn, soybeans, sunflower, small grain, sugar beet or other seed that you plant on your farm. Thank you for your business from Performance Ag west of Borup. After Ethan Hillerud recovered the fumble on the kickoff return, DGF drove 28 yards in 10 plays. It took 456. Brody Friends touchdown with the extra point. It's now 14 0 in favor of Dilworth Glendon Felton. And Peyton Hoff will kick off again. Rebels look to defend their Section 8 AAA championship. Ball kind of died on the turf. It's picked up at the 15-yard line. And down at the 22 that was Spear. is Alex Spear. Morris area, Chicago, Alberta will take over with 35 seconds to go in the quarter at their own 22. Only three plays from scrimmage. Drew Hebner under center, eye formation. And a give to the tailback who's bottled up after a short gain, Owen Anderson. Anderson last week ran 32 times for 242 yards and a touchdown in the Tigers' 32-8 win over Purim. Anderson picked up two, second and eight. And the Rebels don't, or excuse me, the Tigers don't have to run another play in this quarter, and they won't. After one on the Lakes Community Co-op scoreboard, Dilworth, Glendon, Felton, 14, Morris area, Chicago, Alberta, nothing. We'll have the start of the second quarter after this on yourliveevent.com.
change, now is the time for the indoor projects with the help of Ada Building Center, LLC. Now is the time to get contractors scheduled for indoor projects and home improvements. Ada Building Center LLC will provide the products you need, flooring with several new styles to choose from, trim, cabinets, doors, and more. Enhance your home with indoor remodel and home improvement products from Ada Building Center LLC, Highway 200 East Edge, Ada. Farming today doesn't always feel the same way it used to. Then again, some of it feels all the same. Maybe it isn't so much the jobs that changed, but how they get done, now that's a different story. Everything got bigger and smaller at the same time. Insurance, accounting, and taxes can get complicated, so you need someone who's looking to keep every dollar possible in your pocket. Ag Country. Second quarter about to get underway. Morris Erie, Chicago, Alberta looking at second and eight from their own 24-yard line as they trail 14-0. An interception and then a fumble on a kickoff return have led to the two touchdowns for the Rebels and Drew Hebner on the option wasn't fooling anybody. Harley Dale, 59 on the tackle along with 58, Rudy Mosoff. That'll be a loss back to the 23-yard line, a loss of a yard, third and nine. Two receivers left, one to the right. Drew Hebner will work out of the pistol. Rebel defense trying to force a flinch. Play clock at six. And a give for Anderson, who will get across the 25, but not nearly enough for a first down. Gain of three makes it fourth and six. And we'll see the punt team, number 85, Jack Kehoe, back in punt formation. With Cade Swenson, number nine, back to receive, standing at his own 41-yard line. High kick. Feel at the 41. And Swenson trying to go wide, wound up losing yardage. Good pursuit there, led by number two, Jackson Hallman, a junior. Thirty-two yards on the punt, and a loss of two on the return. Rebels will start their own thirty-nine yard line with ten twenty-nine to go to intermission, and the Rebels up fourteen nothing over Morris Area Chicago Alberta. The winner goes on to the state AAA quarterfinals in Alexandria next Friday night. Caleb Johnson to throw. Running out of time, being chased. Throws it in the vicinity of Thomas Thurene, one of the tight ends. It's interesting if you see the uh, Morris area players for an example, number 25, Mitchell Moser, it looks like he's got a different helmet on. Actually, I think what he has on is kind of an extra padding over the helmet. That protects in case of concussions. I've seen a couple of players on the Tigers with that. On second down, inside handoff, trying to fight his way away from that Casey is Casey Macheski. And a penalty late. Maybe holding, maybe a face mask on the tackle. It's a gain of a yard if the play stands or if the penalty would be marked on in addition.
A reminder, tomorrow on Gold 101.5, Minnesota Vikings football. Or excuse me, Minnesota Gopher football. The Gophers are at Illinois. 2.30 kickoff, pregame at 12.30 on Gold 101.5 KRJM. Whoa, Jason Christians, a senior defensive tackle, ejected. That's not the way to end your high school football career. So the ball now in the Morris area, Chicago, Alberta, 45-yard line, first and 10 Rebels. Brody Friend. And again across the 40 yard line. As number five, Jonah Hebner held on to Friend's ankle for dear life. Gain of six, second and four. Two turnovers against Morris Area Chicago, Alberta, and now a player being ejected for a personal foul. The Rebels seem to have the Tigers by the tail right now. Second and four from the 39. Nick Wally with a first down to about the 33 yard line. Hit by number 10, Riley Asmus. Gain of eight for Wally in a first down. Caleb Johnson getting the play from the sideline. Coach Tony Soderberg and company. From first and 10. Up the left hash. Casey Machuski on the carry. Gains five to the 26, second and five. Rebels content to run out the clock. Now we got a penalty flag in the defensive field. Or it could also be a sideline warning. Oh wait, I count. I count 12 guys in white, black and orange. That'll move it to the 21 yard line and be a first down. Three first downs on this drive, two by penalty for the Rebels. Friend bouncing outside, 15, 10, five touchdown. And it's 20 to nothing in favor of Dilworth, Glendon, Felton. So a 61 yard drive makes it a three touchdown lead for Dilworth, Glendon, Felton. Friend with two touchdowns, Caleb Johnson the other. Hayden Hoff going for his third consecutive extra point of the game. Junk to hold. Kick is up and away and good. On the Lakes Community Co-op scoreboard, 7.41 to go to halftime. Dilworth, Glendon, Felton, 21. Morris area, Chicago, Alberta, nothing. The kickoff after this on yourliveevent.com. More so of a caring person, I'd say. I don't know, the care aspect and being able to make a difference in their life and help them to have as normal of a life as they can. 
whenever I provide care for them, I always try and like go above and beyond and like, do you need anything else? Like, can I help you do this while I'm here? And I take care of all these wonderful residents and it's really nice having such awesome residents here. I would definitely recommend a career at Benedictina Beta. The scoring drive for Dilworth, Glendon Felton, 61 yards and six plays. It took 248. Rebels were helped by a big personal foul penalty against Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta after the ball was dead. And it wound up with the Tigers' Jason Christians ejected from the game. I did not get a look at what he did might have done, but that is something you don't see very often in a high school game, and thankful for that. Owen Anderson and Alex Spear back to receive for Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta. The Hoff kickoff fielded at the 13-yard line. And across the 30-yard line is Andrew Marty. Andrew Marty on that return for the Tigers. Tigers take over with 7.36 to go in the half. Trailing 21-0, they'll start at their own 32-yard line. Time of possession for the Tigers has been pretty much non-existed. Three plays with a third interception, then a fumble on a kickoff, and then a three and out. Heedmer, the quarterback, will toss to the far side. And getting away is Owen Anderson. Anderson, a senior, six foot 190. Picked up 13 on the play, and that is the first first down for the Tigers today. Receiver wide left, out of the eye. And Anderson just ran into a crowd. A yard, maybe two if he's lucky. Oh, he got a good spot there, a three yard gain. Second and seven. Anderson will check out. Receivers wide to both sides now. I formation with Hebner under center. Pitch to the right side. Oh! Waldbeezer, the ball carrier. And that was Kate Swenson with a night tackle. Pick up to the 49 yard line, a gain of one. Third and six for the Tigers. Two receivers left, one to the right, a wing on the right side. Drew Hebner out of the pistol. Quick pass near side, caught. Riley Asmus with the catch. And a first down. And for the first time today, Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta is in DGF territory at the 40 yard line after a gain of 11. Under six minutes to go on the half. 21 0, Dilworth, Glendon, Felton. Ranked number five in the state in class AAA. Toss for Owen Anderson back in the game. Oh, and a nice tackle. One number eight on the other, Brody Friend with the hit. Brody Friend on that stop for the Rebels. No gain on the play, second and ten. Friend with two touchdowns for the Rebels on offense. And a nice tackle there on defense. Receivers wide to both sides. Strong right, eye formation. And a toss 
for Anderson, and he won't get far. It'll be third and long now for Morris Erie, Chicago, Alberta. Gain of three to the 37. Fourth and seven. Number two, Jackson Hallman checks into the game for Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta. He lines up wide left with Derek Waldbeezer in the slot on the left. From the pistol, Drew Hebner looking, running out of time, throws down field, almost intercepted. Kate Swenson almost with a diving interception as the pass was intended for Derek Waldbeezer. Fourth and seven at the 37. 4.17 to go on the half. And the Tigers trailing 21 nothing. need to make something happen. Wald Beeser out. Number three, Andrew Marty in with the play from the sideline. Two receivers to the left. Asmus to the right. Wing on the right. Drew Hebner from the pistol. And the play clock runs out. Did they call a timeout in time? They did. Morris area, Chicago, Alberta take a timeout there first of the second half. 4.17 to go till intermission on the Lakes Community Co-op scoreboard. Dilworth, Glendon, Felton, 21. Morris area, Chicago, Alberta, nothing. Back after this on yourliveevent.com. Christian Motors is proud to be your Chevy and GMC dealer in Fertile. They've got a huge selection of new and used vehicles there on the lot. You can stop by and check the selection or go online to christianmotors.com or christiancarsonline.com. Your new vehicle is waiting for you at Christian Motors in Fertile. They are proud to be your Chevy and GMC dealer. christianmotors.com, christiancarsonline.com. Stop and see the selection today. Christian Motors of Fertile. From the Fargo Dome, Joe Lancello with you. Joey on camera. 21-0, Dilworth, Glendon, Felton in the lead over Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta as the Rebels have taken advantage of two turnovers and turned them into touchdowns. And this is the longest that the Tigers have had the football. Third down pass caught by Andrew Murdy. An interesting throw by Hebner, but it caught very nicely by junior Andrew Marty for a first down at the 15-yard line, again at 22. So for the first time today, the Tigers are in the Dilworth Glendon Felton red zone. Loading again on the board before halftime. Receivers wide to both sides, strong right out of the eye. Mitchell Moser, the fullback, and after a gain of two, maybe three. Moser, 5'11", 215, a junior. Second and seven from the 12-yard line. Both teams, two timeouts remaining in the half. Severs wide to both sides, strong left formation. Tight end actually backed off as a wing on the left side. Owen Anderson. Stacked up, kind of like a couple of old dinosaurs fighting for territory. Caleb Johnson with a tackle after a gain of one to the 11 sets up third and six.
Receiver is wide to both sides, tied in on the left, eye formation. Junior Drew Hebner under center. Play fake. Hebner going to stretch it out. Run out of bounds at the 10, so that's going to set up fourth and five. Tigers will go for it here. Down by three scores, and they'd like to get one of those back. Two receivers left, one to the right. Wing on the left side. And whistles. Timeout by the Rebels. Their second timeout of the half. 2.16 to go in the half on the Lakes Community Co-op scoreboard. Dilworth, Glinton, Felton 21, Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta nothing. Back after this on yourliveevent.com. At American Federal Bank, we have all the tools to help you achieve financial success. This is Nick Gordon, your local ag and business banker. Are you currently looking for banking, investment, or insurance options? American Federal Bank and Ada can help. Please contact me, Carly, or McKenna today at 784-7121. American Federal Bank and ADA, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta, break the hurdle on the far side of the field. It's been, not been a good day for teams in orange, black, and white today. Pelican Rapids lost earlier to Barnesville, 44-14. In the eight AA championship, Hebner running out of room, will throw, touchdown! The ball was held long enough by Jackson Holman. And that was a tough throw to make. And the Tigers are on the scoreboard with 2.08 to go on the half. A 68 yard drive by the Tigers and they will go for two. Play fake, toss, deuce. Jack Kehoe, the tight end. So we got a ball game now. 2.08 to go on the half. It's now Dilworth, Glendon, Felton 21, Morris area, Chicago, Alberta 8. The kickoff after this on yourliveevent.com. Now's the time to call the Bevith Hoagland Agency for PRF coverage. If you depend on rainfall in specific months to maximize haying and or grazing practices, then pasture, rangeland, forage. PRF is a great risk management choice for you. Sign up deadline is December 1st. Talk with John, Wayne, or Marissa. Experience matters. The Bennett Hoagland Agency has been working with PRF for over 15 years. The Bennett Hoagland Agency, Ada and Moorhead, 1-800-784-2106. The Bennett Hoagland Agency is an equal opportunity provider. Morris area, Chicago, Alberta, driving 68 yards in 12 plays. It took 528 off the clock. By far the Tigers' best drive of the game. And they're on the board now, 21 to eight, they trail, 2.08 to go on the half. And they will receive the second half kickoff. So if they can hold Dilworth, Glendon, Felton here, that would be great. The ball is gonna die. It, it is picked up by the Rebels and down the 23, 24 yard line. Brody Friend with the return. So the Rebels with one timeout remaining. Will start at their own 24. That drive was one that Morris area, Chicago, Alberta really needed. After two first quarter turnovers led to touchdowns for DGF.
Seven of the locks make it eight in the box. On first down, a toss for Nick Wally. And he'll be brought down the 31, maybe the 32 yard line. Derek Waldbeezer on the tackle. Gain of eight, second and two. Caleb Johnson under center. Full house backfield. A toss for Bodie DeVries, who will get a first down and a little more. Hit near the 40-yard line. Gain of six of the 38, first down for the Rebels. Double wing set this time up as Caleb Johnson back to throw. Has him and who couldn't hang on to the ball. Thomas Thurene, the intended receiver. Second and 10 with a minute one to go on the half. Thorina Senior, 5'10", 182. The Rebels are not a team built to go in the air. Caleb Johnson going into today has thrown only 46 passes. That's in nine games. 558 yards, he's completed 63% of his passes, five touchdowns, three interceptions. Blitz coming, look out. Ball thrown incomplete. Caleb Johnson feeling the pressure. Jonah Hubner, a sophomore with the pressure. It'll be third and 10 from the 38 with 57 seconds to go on the half. Jonah and Drew Hebner are brothers, by the way. Drew is a junior, Jonah is a sophomore. Double wing set. And the lone setback, Macheski, will get to the 40 and no farther. And the Tigers will call a timeout now with 53 seconds to go on the half. As Dilworth, Glendon, Felton looking at fourth and eight. On the Lakes Community Co-op scoreboard, Dilworth, Glendon, Felton 21, Morris area, Chicago, Alberta 8. Back after this on yourliveevent.com. The Halstead Living Center and Heritage House in Halstead provide great places for seniors to live. They emphasize choices, independence, and provide services as directed by residents. They're also great places to work, where employees find not only a job, but also rewarding and enjoyable experiences that contribute to the lives of others. To get more information on Halstead Living Center and Heritage House in Halstead, call 218-456-2105 or log on to halsteadlivingcenter.com. Fourth and eight now for the Rebels. And for the first time, we'll see Hayden Hoff in punt formation. Over the second time, beg your pardon. Had a 30-yard punt his first time up. Snap a little high. Gets it away. Gets knocked down. The official's not impressed. But this run back is impressive. By Grayson Gibson, number 24. Tigers will have the ball in Rebel territory with 43 seconds to go on the half. And looking to cut into that Dilworth Glendon Felton lead a little more. They'll spot the ball on the 50. Two receivers left, one to the right, wing on the left. Drew Hebner from the pistol. Got time. And the pass low, incomplete. Thrown about ankle high, intended for Jackson Holman. 
Second and 10. Two receivers left, Raleigh Asmus to the right. Wing on the left, Drew Hebner from the pistol again. Swings it out to Owen Anderson. Who will only gain a couple. Brody O'Keefe part of the coverage. And would just not let go. And timeout by Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta, with 26 seconds to go on the half. They're looking at third and eight on the Lakes Community Co op scoreboard. 21 to eight, Rebels over the Tigers, and we'll keep things here. A reminder tomorrow night on yourliveevent.com, we will have the Section 8 AA Volleyball Championship game from Pelican Rapids as Wadena Deer Creek will take on Purim. Seven o'clock, the first serve will be on the air about 6.20. No, excuse me, 6.30 on yourliveevent.com. On third and eight. Hebner scrambling, throwing it away. Incomplete under pressure from Brody O'Keefe. That sets up fourth and eight with 20 seconds to go on the half. On fourth and eight. Hebner rolling right, trying to reverse field, getting away briefly, throws it long, and just out of the reach of Jackson Holman. And so the Rebels take over with 10 seconds left in the half. And a 21 to eight lead. They'll have it at their own 43-yard line. Now, if you're the Rebels, do you go for go for broke or go for the kneel down? Well, it's not a victory formation for sure. Two receivers wide either side. Caleb Johnson airs it out, and it is broken up and intercepted by Riley Asmus. First takeaway by the Tigers, and Asmus is still on his feet. Time has run out. And we've got a penalty flag on the play. Could it be with the location of the tackle? Now the thing is, a half cannot end on a defensive foul. And once the ball is intercepted in this case, the defense becomes the offense and vice versa. Fourth interception this year. All right, and that's that. So a good game here in this Section 8 AAA championship game on the Lakes Community Co-op scoreboard. It's still worth Glendon Felton 21, Morris area, Chicago, Alberta 8. We'll sum up the first half when we come back to the Fargo Dome after these words on yourliveevent.com. 
Treat yourself to a great career at American Crystal Sugar Company. Team up with quality people making quality products. Full-time and year-round in a stable business. With great pay and benefits, including time off available from day one. American Crystal Sugar Company invests in you to promote your continued growth and career advancement. Grow your career doing your best work within the world's best beet sugar company. Apply online today at AmericanCrystalCareers.com. Welcome to Adeen Family Dentistry, just off Highway 10 in Dilworth. Our purpose is to meet and exceed your expectations, providing the most personalized care possible in a relaxing environment, providing exceptional dental care using the latest technology and advancements in dentistry. Currently welcoming new patients. Stop in and see Dr. Adeen or Dr. Muscatel and their friendly staff at Adeen Family Dentistry. AdeenFamilyDentistry.com. 218-287-2938. The Wabin Education Association would like to wish the best of luck to the Monoman Wabin Thunderbird teams and wish them the best of luck this season. Proud to cheer on and support the Thunderbird students in the classroom and in all extracurricular activities. Your hard work and dedication make them proud to work with you every day as part of the Wabin Ogemaw White Earth School District. Good luck and go Thunderbirds from all the members of the Wabin Education Association. Performance Ag West of Borup is locally owned and operated and ready to serve the area farmer. They offer these products for the upcoming season. Seed, chemicals, dry and liquid fertilizer and application services. When we're talking seed from Performance Ag, they'll provide growers with corn, soybean, sunflower, small grain, sugar beet or other seed that you plant on your farm. Thank you for your business from Performance Ag West of Borup. As the seasons change, now is the time for the indoor projects with the help of Ada Building Center, LLC. Now is the time to get contractors scheduled for indoor projects and home improvements. Ada Building Center, LLC will provide the products you need, flooring with several new styles to choose from, trim, cabinets, doors, and more. Enhance your home with indoor remodel and home improvement products from Ada Building Center, LLC, Highway 200 East Edge, Ada. Back at Gate City Bank Field at the Fargo Dome, Joe Lancello with you. Halftime of the Section 8 Class AAA Championship game where Dilworth Glendon Felton, the defending section champions, lead Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta by a score of 21 to 8. To run down the scoring in the first half, after a three and out by DGF, the Rebels came up with a turnover. Caleb Johnson with an interception of a Drew Hebner pass. And Dilworth Glendon Felton took over at the Tiger 42 yard line. Seven plays later, three minutes, nine seconds later, they're in the end zone. Caleb Johnson converting a fourth down with a 24 yard touchdown run. The extra point kick by Hayden Hoff made it 7 0 in favor of the Rebels with 5.39 to go in the first quarter. On the ensuing kickoff, it was fumbled by Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta, and Ethan Hellrude recovered for DGF on the Tiger 28-yard line. 10 plays, 28 yards later, taking 4.56. The Rebels were on the board again with... Brody Friend scoring on a four-yard run. The half extra point made it 14-0 in favor of DGF with 37 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Then into the second quarter, after the Rebels forced a three and out, DGF drove 61 yards in six plays. That took 248. Friend scoring on a 21-yard run. The half extra point made it 21-0 with 741 to go in the half. Critical in that drive was a personal foul penalty against Morris Area Chicago, Alberta's Jason Christians. He was thrown out of the game for that. And again, I did not see what exactly he did. But with him being ejected, and Morris Area Chicago, Alberta down 21-0, almost midway through the second quarter, 
It did not look good for the Tigers, but they came back and had their best drive of the game. 68 yards in 12 plays, taking 528 off the clock. And it was Drew Heatner, their quarterback, hooking up with Jackson Holman on a 10-yard touchdown pass. And that was a fourth down play where Heebner was scrambling to his right and had to pretty much thread the needle between a couple of defenders, and Holman made a great catch. And a two-point conversion pass to Jack Kehoe made the score 21-8 with 2.08 to go in the half. That ended the scoring. But also before the half ended on the final play of the first half, in fact, the Tigers' Riley Asmus had an interception. There was no time for another play after. Oh, wait, yes, there was. There were about 40 seconds to go on the half. Nothing really came of it. But again, Morris area, Chicago, Alberta, now with a little bit of momentum as opposed to possibly being blown out of here early. The Tigers will receive the second half kickoff and they could very possibly make a game out of this. Earlier today here at the Fargo Dome, it was Belgrade Bruton El Rosa winning the Section 4A championship beating Uppsala Swanville 36-12. The Section 6A championship goes to Parker's Prairie. They beat New York Mills 26-6. And it will be Parker's Prairie taking on Manoma and Waman next Friday night in Brainerd in the Class A state quarterfinals. In Section 8AA, or excuse me, 6AA, Osakis defeated the Staples Motley Crew 42-13. So Osakis advances to the Class AA quarterfinals against Barnesville, the defending state AA champions. Barnesville beat Pelican Rapids 44-14 this evening here. So Barnesville remains undefeated, and they will take on Osakis Thursday night in Alexandria. In the Class AA quarterfinals. And the winner of this game between Dilworth Glendon Felton and Morris Area Chicago, Alberta will play in Alexandria on Friday night. And that's where we are at halftime with Dilworth Glendon Felton leading. Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta, 21-8 on the Lakes Community Co-op scoreboard. We'll have the start of the third quarter after these words on yourliveevent.com. Farming today doesn't always feel the same way it used to. Then again, some of it feels all the same. Maybe it isn't so much the jobs that changed, but how they get done. Now that's a different story. Everything got bigger and smaller at the same time. Insurance, accounting, and taxes can get complicated, so you need someone who's looking to keep every dollar possible in your pocket. Ag Country. I've always been more so of a caring person, I'd say. I don't know, the care aspect and being able to make a difference in their life and help them to have as normal of a life as they can. Whenever I provide care for them, I always try and like go above and beyond. I'm like, do you need anything else? Like, can I help you do this while I'm here? And I take care of all these wonderful residents and it's really nice having such awesome residents here. I would definitely recommend a career at Benedictina Beta. 
Christian Motors is proud to be your Chevy and GMC dealer in Fertile. They've got a huge selection of new and used vehicles there on the lot. You can stop by and check the selection or go online to christianmotors.com or christiancarsonline.com. Your new vehicle is waiting for you at Christian Motors in Fertile. They are proud to be your Chevy and GMC dealer. christianmotors.com, christiancarsonline.com. Stop and see the selection today. Christian Motors of Fertile. Lakes Community Co-op takes pride in providing complete customer satisfaction as they serve their local communities with the necessary products and services for farms, businesses, and individuals. Energy solutions, feed, milk, sea stores, meat market, motel, car wash, HVAC, natural gas. Visit your neighborhood Lakes Community Co-op location for them to meet your needs or learn more at lakescommunitycoop.com. At Enbridge, we believe sustainability is the foundation of our success. How well we perform as a steward of our environment, a safe operator of essential energy infrastructure, a good neighbor, and a diverse employer defines our success. Learn more about Enbridge's environmental, social, and governance commitments and our Indigenous Reconciliation Plan at Enbridge.com. Back at the Fargo Dome, Gate City Bank Field at the Fargo Dome to be precise. Joe Lancello with you. Third quarter about to get going here between Dilworth, Glendon, Felton, ranked number five of the state in Class AAA, and the Morris Area Chicago Alberta Tigers. Rebels are up 21 to eight after they converted two first quarter turnovers into touchdowns. But Morris area, Chicago, Alberta with a good drive after the Rebels moved to a 21-0 lead. They drove for a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Also had an interception late in the first quarter. Their first takeaway of the game. So we'll see if the Tigers can fuel that into some momentum. And the normal team that plays here, the University of, or excuse me, the North Dakota State University Bison, are on the road tomorrow taking on their arch rivals from South Dakota State. That'll be a 2 o'clock kickoff. Pre-game coverage on KRJB 106.5 FM will start at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. The Bison and the Jackrabbits. And if I remember correctly, they met for the national championship for mid-major college football, if I remember correctly. They are certainly one of the two of the top programs in the country at that level. And also on your live event.com, starting on Monday, we will have coverage of the quarterfinals of Region 1 and Region 2 high school volleyball from North Dakota. All on your live event.com. Quarterfinals on Monday, four games. And then we'll have the semifinals in both regions on Tuesday. And then on Thursday, the third place in championship games. In Region 1 and Region 2, that's actually Class B Volleyball, should tell you that. We'll see if Northern Cass can return and defend their state championship. They're playing in Region 1. Mayport CG has had a very strong season in Region 2. They'd be the favorites there. 
DGF to kick off to start the second half. Hayden Hoff will kick it off from left to right. Back to receive for the Tigers. 21, Alex Spear. On the near side with the number three, Andrew Marty. Marty fields at the 12. Across the 30 to the 35 yard line. So good field position for Morris area, Chicago, Alberta as they start the third quarter. At their own 35. Morris area, Chicago, Alberta, seven and three on the year. DGF is eight and one from the I-Formation. And it's Drew Hebner, the quarterback, keeping it and gaining three, maybe four. Harley Dale, the defensive tackle on the stop, 59 for Dilworth Glendon Felton. Gain of three to the 38. Second and seven for the Tigers. Hebner under center out of the eye. Moser, the fullback, to the 40 and not much farther. Gain of three to the 41. Third and four. Play fake, Hebner on the option, fakes the pitch, takes it himself, he'll be stopped short of the first down. Fourth down and three from the 42 after a gain of seven. Defensive end Brody O'Keefe with a tackle. And the Tigers will punt it away. Jack Kehoe back in punt formation. One punt today for 32 yards. Short, rolls out of bounds. Ball out of bounds to the 40-yard line where the Rebels will take over first and 10. Rebels will take over. Let's see where they mark this, the 33-yard line. 25 yards on the punt with no return. So the Rebels with their first offensive series of the second half. 18, Caleb Johnson is the quarterback under center. Double tight end set, full house backfield. A give to the second man. Brody Friend who was stacked up. Asmus and Waldbesser on the tackle. Friend did well to get three to the 36, second and seven Rebels. Doeworth, Glendon, Felton taking their time. Still on his feet, but not gaining a whole lot. Nick Wally, I believe that was in the carry. Gained three to the 39 yard line, third down four for the Rebels. 
Early third quarter, no scoring in the second half so far. Dilworth Glendon Felton with a 21 8 lead over Morris Area Chicago, Alberta. Section 8 AAA championship game. Caleb Johnson keeps first down into Tiger territory. Stop short of the 40. Gets into Morris area, Chicago, Alberta territory at the 40. A gain of 21. Johnson opened the scoring with a 24-yard touchdown run in the first quarter after he had intercepted a Morris area, Chicago, Alberta pass. First and 10 Rebels. Bodie DeVries, I believe that was on the carry. Oh, check that. Macheski, 22. Picked up four to the 36 yard line, second and six for Dilworth Glendon Felton. Full house backfield behind Caleb Johnson on second and six. Hand off to the first man going straight ahead. Bodie DeVries on the carry this time, close to the first down. He's a yard short after picking up five. Third and one. Clock moving third quarter, almost five minutes played, still 21-8 in favor of Dilworth, Glendon, Felton. And time definitely on the Rebels' side. Tiger showing blitz. And a counter play gets a first down to the 25. Friend on the carry. Friend picked up six. Second first down of the drive for Dilworth, Glendon Felton. Drive started at their own 33. They have the ball three and a half minutes and counting. Now a double wing set with Macheski the lone setback. And it will be Macheski who carries. And a short gain. Javon Johnson part of the hit along with Moser. Gain of two to the 23, second down eight. More than midway through the second quarter or the third quarter, excuse me. Rebels on the move, second and eight. And a penalty flag. The Tigers were threatening blitz. Dead ball, full start, number 12 on the And they got somebody to flinch. That'll move the ball back to the 28-yard line. Set up second and 13. Five and a half to go third quarter. Caleb Johnson under center. Friend tripped up. After a short gain. Gain of a yard. Setting up third and a dozen. Over five minutes on this drive for the Rebels. Wings to both sides now. Has Johnson back to throw under pressure, throws incomplete. 
Pressure coming in from Grayson Gibson, number 24. And it's fourth and 12 for Dilworth Glenn Felton. Rebels need to go for it here. Even if they don't score here or get a first down here, they've certainly kept the clock moving. Caleb Johnson play fake, avoids a rush, throws, man open, touchdown! Hody DeVries. And credit to Caleb Johnson, avoiding one rusher, getting the ball away in the face of a couple more. And it's now 27 to eight. Rebels in front with 4.27 to go in the third quarter. Sixty-seven yard drive took five minutes and 40 seconds. Hayden Hoff for the extra point. Renan Jock to hold. Snap a little high. The kick is good. Hoff is four for four today. On the Lakes Community Co-op scoreboard, 4.27 to go third quarter. Dilworth, Glendon, Felton, 28. Morris area, Chicago, Alberta, 8. The kickoff after this on yourliveevent.com. Kyle Larson here for France and Bank and & Trust. We are a Farmer Mac approved lender that can offer operating lines of credit, land, equipment, and facility financing. Our lending experts understand the farm economy and climate in and around the Ada area. With a fast underwriting process and local decision making, you can save time on all farming and ag related inquiries. Contact our Ada office today to learn more. France and Bank and Trust, real people, real results, member FDIC. Dilworth, Glenn and Felton driving 67 yards in 10 plays, a drive that took five minutes and 40 seconds. Caleb Johnson has run for a touchdown. He's now thrown for one. His sixth touchdown pass of the year. As Hayden Hoff will kick off for the Rebels. Fielded near the eight. And a carry to the 31 yard line. As Andrew Marty with the turning, I think he lost his helmet in the middle of all that. Morris area, Chicago, Alberta to start at their own 30 yard line. I'd mentioned the tradition that Chicago, Alberta had as a nine-man squad. Their head coach, Neil Hoffland, is an assistant to coach Kevin Pope on the Tiger football team. Play fake, Kiebner throws it out, over through Asmus. Second down, 10 for the Tigers. who have got to get a score here. Or they risk this getting out of hand. Tigers getting this eight AAA championship game with wins over Fergus Falls and Purim. They've come from behind three times to win games this season. And if they could make this number four, it would be a gem. Hebner rolling right. Throws it away as he was pursued by three Rebels. Seemed like Hebner was just kind of stalling and looking for something, anything, and never got it. Now we have an official timeout as one of the Rebels appears to be hurt. 
That is number seven, Brody O'Keefe. A senior defensive end and receiver. Being helped out by a couple of his teammates. Third down 10 for Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta. Hebner from the pistol. Throws it out. Caught by Osmus. And a first down. That pass complete to Riley Asmus. Riley Asmus, a sophomore, 6'4, 180, with the catch for a first down. Gain of a dozen to the 42-yard line. First and 10, Morris area, Chicago, Alberta. Under four minutes to go in the third. Hebner from the pistol. Under pressure. Throws it away. Being pressed by 74, Andrew Olick, a junior, 5'10", 232. Second and 10 with 3.47 to go in the third. The winner will play in Alexandria on Friday night in the state class AAA quarterfinals. Two wide left, one wide right with a wing on the right, and Hebner from the pistol. Under pressure, screen dropped. That was Derek Waldbeezer, the intended receiver. Setting up third and ten. Two receivers left, one to the right, wing on the left. Heemner on third down, over through. Waldbeezer and a penalty is going to come down as there was contact made when the ball was well overthrown. I think that was Bodie DeVries that made contact with Waldbeezer. Personal foul on the Rebels, and that'll be a first down for Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta. At the 43-yard line of the Rebels. Second first down of the drive for the Tigers, with 3.40 to go in the third. Hebner rolling out, throwing... Incomplete, intended for Jackson Hallman. Second and 10 with 3.34 to go in the third. Ebner hasn't been able to just kind of step back and throw right away. He's had to kind of hem and haul a little bit. And credit for that coverage by the Rebel defense. Owen Anderson. Breaking a tackle. And he's close to a first down. Anderson's first carry of the second half. And he does have a first down to 33. A gain of 10. Drew Hebner from the pistol. Two receivers left, one to the right. And a give for Anderson. Bouncing off his own lineman, still going, and finally stopped at the 30. 
Second down, seven for Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta. Tigers trailing 28-8, 2.45 to go, quarter number three. Section A, Class AAA Championship game. Joe Lansolo with you on yourliveevent.com. Two receivers left, Hebner under center, out of the eye. Dumps it. Nice catch by Anderson. He'll gain to the 27, maybe the 26. Logical play, swinging out to the running back in space. Picked up three, it'll be third and four. Under two minutes to go, third quarter. Working from the near hash, high formation, receivers wide to both sides, strong right. Pitch to Anderson, still on his feet, and very close to a first down. Owen Anderson, six foot 190, a senior, and he does have a first down. This fellow's a good runner. Gain of five. Morris area, Chicago, Alberta, knocking on the door here. They've had the ball almost three and a half minutes. Quick pass, dropped by Asmus. That one thrown pretty hard, and Asmus not able to hang on to it. Asmus coming into today had only one catch on the year for 40 yards but it was for a touchdown. And Asmus had a big interception toward the end of the first half on second and 10. On the option pitch for Anderson, cut down to the 20 yard line. Casey Macheski in on the coverage on the tackle. Gain of three, third down, seven. And Owen Anderson limping off the field. Derek Waldbeezer as the tailback now with Moser in front of him. Hebner throw. No, rolling right. Looking. Throwing. Caught. At the 10 for a first down, Andrew Marty with the catch. That's a first down with seven seconds to go in the third quarter. And that'll be first and goal at the 10. This drive started at the Tiger 30 yard line. And this will likely be the final play of the third quarter. High formation, receivers wide to both sides, strong left. Waldbeezer across the five and did did the ball come out? The Rebel players say it didn't. So do the officials. On the final play of the third quarter, on the Lakes Community Co-op scoreboard after three. It's Dilworth Glendon Felton 28, Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta 8, fourth quarter after this on yourliveevent.com. 
Let's get real. Get ready for a place that's big enough to grow and small enough to care. The University of Minnesota Crookston offers more than 35 majors, minors, and certificates. Earn a University of Minnesota degree where you can make a difference in a close-knit community. Faculty become friends and friends feel like family. You don't need a big city, just big dreams. The University of Minnesota Crookston, real, hands-on, and will get you ready for anything. Gordon Construction of Monoman is a Native American-owned business proudly operating on the White Earth Indian Reservation since 1983. As a bonded general contractor, Gordon Construction provides years of experience in large, detailed, and within-budget projects. Gordon Construction is committed to the safety of its employees and the environment of its work sites. To learn more about Gordon Construction of Monoman, visit gcmonoman.com or call 218-935-2191. After ending the third quarter with a fumble recovery. And we haven't had word on who it was that recovered the fumble. DGF will start at its own five-yard line with a 28-8 lead in the Section 8 AAA Championship game. Caleb Johnson under center. And a straight-ahead give for Brody Friend. Picks up four, maybe five. Second and six at the nine. Caleb Johnson has run for a touchdown and thrown for one. Brody Friend has run for two scores. The Morris area Chicago Alberta touchdown came late second quarter on a pass from Drew Hebner to Jackson Holman. Straight ahead, Bodie DeVries. Bodie DeVries had a carry initially met by Owen. Knocked down. Bring up third down the long three. Let's see where they spot this. At the 11 yard line after a gain of two, it'll be third and four for the Rebels. Both teams with all three timeouts remaining. Double tight end set. Full house backfield. Anderson gives to the first back. Casey Macheski, who carries to the 23 and a first down. Gain of 13. Andrew Marty. Macheski, M A C Z I E W S K I. Difficult to spell and difficult to stop on the run. Done pretty well in the backfield for the Rebels tonight. And now Dilworth, Glenn, and Felton have some breathing room to move from their own 24. And Nick Wally on the carry that time. Nicholas Wally on that carry. Picked up four to the 28. Second and six. Second down and six. Rebels very content to grind things out. The winner of this game goes on to the state quarterfinals in Alexandria on Friday night. A toss for Friend. We'll see where they mark him down. And that will be a first down, the 35 after a gain of seven. And the clock continues to run. Caleb Johnson getting the play from the sideline. On first down. 
pulling forward than being bowled back is Macheski. Forward progress for a gain of four to the 39-yard line. Drive taking three and a half minutes and counting. Dilworth, Glendon, Felton in the lead, 28 to eight as they look to retain the section eight class AAA championship. And Bodie DeVries on the carry across midfield for a first down. Third first down of the drive for Dilworth, Glendon, Felton. Gain of a dozen, first and 10 for Dilworth, Glendon, Felton. Rebels have the ball most of the first quarter after an interception and a fumble recovery led to touchdowns. And more ball possession by DGF here. Friend over the right side, stopped near the 45. Second and seven from the 46. Drive five minutes long. Morris Erie, Chicago, Alberta need to force a turnover in the worst way. And to give for Nick Wally. He'll be stopped short of the 40 yard line. Setting up third and short. Third and two from the 41. Country music fans might see this as the Clint Black style of football, killing time. And it's killing Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta. Midway through quarter number four. DeVries breaking through, still on his feet, down near the 25. Fourth first down of the drive for the Rebels. After a gain of 16. And Morris area, Chicago, Alberta really getting backed up against the wall now. Even if the Rebels were to not score, they're still down three scores with less than half of the fourth quarter to go. Nick Wally, left side, wrestled down at about the 11. Another first down for DGF, their fifth of this drive. After a gain of 13. This drive started at the Rebels' five-yard line after a fumble recovery in the final play of the third quarter. Friend straight ahead inside the 10. Ball spot at the nine after a gain of three. Seven and a half minutes on this drive. Yeah. 
Second down, seven. From the Morris area, nine. Straight ahead, Macheski. Down about the six. Maybe the five. Gain of three, third and four. Almost three and a half minutes to go in the ball game. DGF with a 28-8 lead. Johnson under center again. He'll keep it himself and score. Touchdown, DGF. Caleb Johnson's, oh no, not quite into the end zone. First and goal for the Rebels. From the one yard line. Over 90 yards on this drive and over nine minutes for DGF. And I don't know if Caleb Johnson is catching his breath. The play clock is down to two, and they will call a timeout. First timeout of the second half for the Rebels. 2.41 to go, fourth quarter on the Lakes Community Co-op scoreboard. Dilworth Glendon felt knocking on the door, looking to add to a 28-8 lead over Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta. Back after this on YourLiveEvent.com. Halston Telephone Company delivers fast broadband internet, telephone, and cable TV to residents in this region, including Halston, Shelley, Nailsville, Climax, Fisher, Bigland, Gentilly in Minnesota, and Hillsborough, Caledonia, Gardner, and Argusville, North Dakota. Serving the area residents since 1904, Halston Telephone continues to create a bright future for this region using 100% fiber optic technology. Service plans offer flexibility and choices, and there's local support personnel ready to help. Contact Halston Telephone Company today. From the Fargo Dome, Joe Lancello with you. 2.41 to go in regulation. Dilworth Glendon Felton with a 28 to 8 lead over Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta. And the Rebels on the verge of winning the Section 8 Class AAA Championship for a second straight year. Full house backfield, first and goal of the one. And diving in is DeVries for the touchdown. And that should wrap it up with 2.38 to play. 34 to eight in favor of the Rebels. A 95 yard drive that took nine minutes and 22 seconds. Aiden Hoff will kick the extra point from the hold of Brennan Jonk. Kick is up and good. On the Lakes Community Co-op scoreboard, 2.38 to go fourth quarter, DGF leading Morris area, Chicago, Alberta, 35 to eight. Back after this on yourliveevent.com. Mother Nature can strike at any time, and Irie Insurance is here to help. Experience the difference with Irie. Get the insurance protection you want with the customer service you deserve. Home insurance, auto insurance, crop insurance, commercial insurance, benefits insurance. We have you covered from head to toe, underground to sky. Go to irieinsurance.com to get a free quote.
Randall's Excavating of Glendon, specializing in underground site utilities and repair. Randall's Excavating is experienced in underground utilities, specializing in water lines, sanitary sewer, and storm sewer from site preparation and trenching to the installation of all site utilities. They respond to emergency repairs for water leaks, fire protection lines, fire hydrants, sanitary and storm sewer lines for all commercial and residential needs, including camera inspections too. Contact Randall's Excavating with over 20 years of experience, 701-219-9126 or randallsinc.com. From the kickoff, Andrew Marty has it. Will be stopped across the 25-yard line. The scoring drive for DGF, 95 yards in 15 plays. It took 9.22. Bodie DeVries scoring on a one-yard run. Albany leads New London Spicer 24-23, we're told. I'm presuming that is the six AAA championship game. Hebner to throw, caught by Andrew Marty. And he'll get to the 40-yard line. Second down, two. Hebner caught, first down, more. Jackson, Jackson Holman with that grab. And a first down for Morris area, Chicago, Alberta. At the DGF 45, after a pickup of 17. Under two minutes to play. Quick pass, caught, 40-yard line. Andrew Marty inside the 40. Three straight completions for Drew Hebner. Gain of seven, second and three. Under a minute and a half to play. Tigers are going to end the year seven and four, but they want to end with a score. And here's a long ball, caught, touchdown. Riley Asmus. Boy, did he get open fast. Thirty-five, fourteen, with a minute fourteen to play. Four plays, seventy yards. Minute 10 on the drive. And the extra point kicked by Riley Saito is blocked. So with a minute 14 to play, on the Lakes Community Co-op scoreboard, It's DGF 35, Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta 14. The kickoff after this on yourliveevent.com. Lakes Community Co-op provides energy solutions. Farm fuels, lubricants, propane, and natural gas are all available to farms, homes, and businesses from Lakes Community Co-op. They enjoy working with their customers to meet your fuel and energy solutions. Call Lakes Community Co-op today, 1-888-935-2281 for farm fuel pricing, contract programs, farm lubricants, propane pricing, and delivery for farm, home, business, and natural gas service. Lakes Community Co-op, your co-op in your community. Riley Sido to kick off, and the Rebels are expecting an onside kick. They've got nine men between the 50 and their own 40-yard line. And the deep receivers are on about their own 20.
Sanu's approach. Squibber. Bobbled. Finally collected, I believe. And a tight kick. And it is Morris Area Chicago Alberta football. Caleb Hines on the recovery. Number eight, Hines, number 87, a senior, 6'3", 175. One of the Rebels had it. But then taken away. And Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta will take a timeout with 109 to play in the fourth quarter, trailing 35 to 14. They will start at the DJF 32 yard line with a minute nine to go. They'd like to make this a little, a more respectable final score. It was 14 nothing DJF at the quarter. 21 to eight at the half, 28 to eight after three. And now 35-14 in favor of Dilworth, Glenn, and Felton. The Rebels with three takeaways. Just a reminder, check out the yourliveevent.com coaches show Wednesday night at seven, and you can watch it Following this game, actually, go to the Your Live Event YouTube page and check out the coach's show. Movement along the line. And the tight end on the left side. First and 15 from the 37. Rebels will go to nine and one on the season. Morris Harry, Chicago, Alberta, seven and four, with two losses of the same team. DGF as Heener scrambles and throws and is picked off. Mason Tisver, a six foot, 187 pound sophomore. I, I saw it as number 10. It may have been number 16, Adam Moe. But it's Rebel football with one minute to play at their own 14-yard line. Rebels in victory formation. And players starting to exchange handshakes along the line. The Rebels will have to make one more snap before they can start thinking about going to Alexandria next Friday night for the state quarterfinals. And Johnson again to a knee. And this will take care of it. As Dilworth, Glenn, and Felton retain the Section 8 Triple A Championship. The final from the Fargo Dome. Dilworth, Glendon, Felton, 35. Morris area, Chicago, Alberta, 14. We'll have our post-game awards coming up on the Lakes Community Co-op scoreboard. The Rebels win 35-14. Back after these words on yourliveevent.com. Your grandmother's fine china, those trendy sneakers, your collection of hand-carved duck decoys. Auto Owners protects your home. Because, well, somebody should. That's simple human sense. 
Ask Linforce Insurance Agency in your viewing area if auto owners make sense for you. Oh, now you do your job. I've got a math question for you. When you add tolerance, subtract prejudice, and multiply efforts to treat one another with respect, what do you get? Less division. And school sports have it down to a science. Looking for an example of what can happen when we realize there's more that unites us than divides us? Look no further than high school sports in Minnesota. This message presented by the Minnesota State High School League and the Minnesota Interscholastic Activities Administrators Association. RDK Enterprises is searching for candidates to fill multiple positions. These customer-facing positions require a high level of organization, workflow management skills, the ability to work with and lead others, problem-solving skills, and the drive to deliver an outstanding customer experience. Available positions include shop foreman and service technician, compensation package based on experience. If interested in joining our team, upload your resume at planterdoc.com. Rural Enrichment and Counseling Headquarters, also known as REACH. Neighbors Helping Neighbors, that's their slogan and it says it all. REACH is a multi-agency human service center that helps families and individuals with counseling, food services, and help and support during the holidays. Things such as the backpack program, food for kids during the weekend, and a holiday meal during Thanksgiving and Christmas are just a few of the things that REACH can do. Check them out at ruralenrichment.org or visit their secondhand stores in Holly and Hendrum. Back at the Fargo Dome at Sit Gate City Bank Field, Joe Lancello with you as Dilworth, Glendon, Felton have won the Section 8 AAA Championship 35-14 to over Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta. And let's take a look at our Game summary brought to you by Benedictine Living Community of Ada. Dilworth Glendon Felton got things started defensively with a Caleb Johnson interception and returned the ball to the 42 yard line of Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta. Seven plays, 42 yards later, it was Caleb Johnson running 18 yards, or make that 24 yards for a touchdown. The extra point kick was good by Hayden Hoff to make it 7-0 in favor of the Rebels. Then on the ensuing kickoff, it was fumbled by the Tigers, and Ethan Hellrude recovered for DGF at the Tiger 28-yard line. Ten plays, 4.56 later. Another touchdown for Dilworth, Glendon Felton. This was Brody Friend scoring on a four-yard run. The extra point made it 14-0. That was the final play of the opening quarter. Into quarter number two. There, okay, I had, okay, here we are. I had my pages mixed up. Uh, DGF driving 61 yards in six plays. It took 248 off the clock. Brody Friend, his second touchdown of the day, a 21-yard run. The extra point made it 21 nothing. Rubbles with 741 to go in the half. Then Morris area, Chicago, Alberta with their best drive of the night. 68 yards and 12 plays, taking 528 off the clock. Drew Hebner connecting with Jackson Holman on a 10-yard touchdown pass. One where he was scrambling to his right, Hebner was, and was able to thread the needle, finding Holman between a couple of defenders. The Tigers with a pass for a two-point conversion Hebner to Jack Keel made it 21 to eight. That was the score at intermission. Into the third quarter after a three and out by Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta. Dilworth, Glendon, Felton drove 67 yards in 10 plays, taking five minutes, 40 seconds. It was Caleb Johnson passing to Bro Bodie DeVries, a 28 yard scoring pass. The kick for the extra point made it 28 to eight with 427 to play. Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta was driving late third quarter. They had the ball on the Rebel 10-yard line, but there was a fumble, 
And the Rebels recover it. I never did get the identity of the player who recovered the fumble. But DGF took over at their own five yard line on the final play of the third quarter. And into the fourth quarter, the Rebels kept the ball. And kept the ball, and kept the ball. Driving 95 yards in 15 plays that took 9.22 off the clock. Finally, it was DeVries scoring on a one yard run. The extra point kick was blocked. Oh no, the kick was good, I beg your pardon. I'm getting ahead of myself here. 35 to eight with 2.38 to play. And on the ensuing kickoff, Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta would drive 70 yards in four plays. Drew Hebner connecting on four of four passes. Riley Asmus catching a 38 yard scoring pass with a minute 14 to go. The extra point kick was blocked. 35-14 the score at that point, and that is how it ended. As the season ends for Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta with a 7-4 record, Dilworth, Glendon, Felton now 9-1, and, and they will advance to play Albany next Friday night in Alexandria in the state class AAA quarterfinals. That's our game summary brought to you by Benedictine Living Community of Ada. Time now for our star of the game, brought to you by American Federal Bank of Ada. And for the star of the game, I'm going to go with Caleb Johnson of DGF. Ran for a touchdown, passed for a touchdown, intercepted a pass. So a solid game for the junior. Caleb Johnson, our star of the game, brought to you by American Federal Bank of Ada. And our high performance play of the game brought to you by Performance Egg west of Borup. You want high performance on your farm? Visit with the guys at Performance Egg. They've got dry and liquid fertilizer, seed for your farm, sugar beet, corn, soybean, alfalfa, sunflowers, agronomy and application services available. And we may not be officially in winter yet, but you might want to think about fertilizer and seed purchases for next spring. Thank you for your business from your locally owned agronomy center, Performance Egg, west of Borup. And our high performance play would be that fourth quarter drive by DGF, 95 yards, 15 plays, took 9.22 off the clock and pretty much sealed the victory for the Rebels as Bodie DeVries scoring on a one-yard run to cap off that drive and pretty much seal the victory for Dilworth, Glendon, Felton. And that's our high-performance play of the game. Our energy player of the game brought to you by Enbridge. Life takes energy. Enbridge, energy for life. Enbridge.com for career opportunities. Plenty of energy in that DGF backfield. And for that, I'm going to go with let's see, who am I going to go with? I'm going to go with Brody Friend, Brody Friend, who had two rushing touchdowns for the Rebels tonight in their victory. So Brody Friend, our energy player of the game, brought to you by Enbridge. And our precision play of the game, brought to you by RDK Enterprises of Hillsborough and Drayton. For precision planning updates, information, questions, contact RDK Enterprises in Hillsborough and Drayton, 701-636-2119, or visit planterdoc.com. That's planterdoc.com. RDK Enterprises here to help you in our precision play of the game. Going to have to go with one by Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta. Their first touchdown of the game, the pass from Drew Hebner to Jackson Hallman. Thrown as Hebner was rolling to his right and managed to get the ball to Hallman, who is being double covered in the end zone. So that will be our precision play of the game. Brought to you by RDK Enterprises. And that will do it for us here 
from the Fargo Dome. Keep tuned to yourliveevent.com for more information about next week's coverage plans as we get to the quarterfinal rounds of the Minnesota High School football playoffs. We will have tomorrow night for you the Section 8AA Volleyball Championship from Pelican Rapids as Wadena Deer Creek take on Purim. 7 o'clock, the first serve coverage around 6.30 on yourliveevent.com. And remember, coming up on Monday night, North Dakota Class B Region 1 and Region 2 quarterfinal action. That'll be going on throughout the night through the afternoon and evening on yourliveevent.com. Thanks for, excuse me, thanks very much for joining on the camera. Thanks to all of our sponsors. We hope you will thank them also with your patronage. And thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy the broadcast. I'm Joe Lancello, the final scorer here from the Fargo Dome. Earlier today in the Section 8 AA Championship, it was Barnesville over Pelican Rapids, 44 to 14. And here in 8 AAA, Dilworth Glendon Felton, 35. And Morris Area, Chicago, Alberta, 14. Have a good night. Enjoy your weekend. We will talk to you soon. Good night, everyone.